All right, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Philo in the Philippines, North Caloocan City, where the city meets the province, baby. How's everybody doing? All right. Uh, it's a very, very hot and steamy Thursday afternoon in North Caloocan City. And, uh, you know, uh, we have, something we haven't done in a while is a Tagalog lesson. So, uh, welcome to Drunk Tagalog Lessons with Philo, uh, Joe Pongpo. Anyway, uh, I hope everybody's doing okay. We have had uh, a heat wave here in North Caloke, and it's been very, very hot. Summer has come a little bit early, or maybe it's here just on time, actually. It is the month of April, so anyway, uh, I hope everybody's doing good. A big shout out to Lynn Dickinson. Happy birthday, Lynn. Lynn had a birthday a couple of days ago, and uh, our very, very great friend, Lynn Dickinson. <clears throat> you guys know her from the live chat. Check out her channel. Uh, we'll link it down below. Happy birthday, Lynn, and uh, let's do some Tagalog. Uh, we're going to do a few a few words and one action word, okay, since we're, since we have our, a couple of action words and a couple of regular words, since we haven't done anything in so long. Ista is fish, bumibili is buying. Got that? Ista for fish, bumibili for buying. Let's do a couple of more a couple of more words. Coche. Coche means car. Tubig means water. Coche and tubig. And one more action word. I'm about out of words, you guys. Naksusulat can be translated to uh, drawing or writing. Naksusulat. Okay. And uh, I've made a promise to myself to get back in there to my Rosetta Stone courses and uh, really, really hit it hard. I've got to get this language down. Uh, especially after meeting Bisai Yang Hilao, and he's so, so fluent uh, in Visayan, in Visayan. And uh, he was a, uh, is a big inspiration, you know, to me. Um, to stop being such a bad student and get back in there and learn and learn Tagalog, uh, you really need to learn that language uh, to survive here, because uh, there's really nothing more than English small talk in this country. Uh, although a lot of people will uh, believe that, there, that that it's more than that, it, it's really not. Um, I've been here for 18 months, and I can tell you for a fact, conversational English is something that does not really exist here. Um, so you must must learn Tagalog if you're going to live here full time, and you really really want to survive well. Thanks you guys so much for supporting the channel. We really appreciate it. And uh, the video I've got today is just some maintenance on the radar. Just some stuff around the around the house here. So I hope you enjoy it. I do have some really good vlogs coming up. Um, I've got a vlog of the North Caloocan Sports Complex, uh, which includes uh, our mayor, Oka Malapitan. And uh, wait till you guys see this place. It's super impressive. Very close to my house. I could walk there in probably half an hour. Uh, North Caloocan Sports Complex. That's coming up along with a trip to uh, Quiapo with Tito Road. Uh, we've got uh, Maddie's uh, birthday party, which you guys saw over on uh, The Adventure of Malai. And uh, many other great vlogs that are coming. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. We really appreciate it. Bye now. Hope you enjoy the next uh, video. Bye now. All right. How's everybody doing? We are... Just kind of having a nice, uh, cool day here on a Thursday in the backyard. Uh, check out these mangoes, you guys. It is mango season here in the Philippines. Look at that. Got some nice ones. And then we've got this whole tree as well. That whole tree right there is going to produce a couple of hundred mangoes. Uh, that's our neighbor's tree, but hanging in our yard so those will be our mangoes check out these chili plants how well they've done man these plants are just so strong you can see the chilies we have there and over here very healthy plants and uh, as a result of those chili plants what do we got there three six nine twelve about fourteen plants I have got a freezer filled with chilies now. 
so stoked. I like it hot, man. So yeah, just give you a backyard update here. We had some, uh, what are these? Kind of like a squash or something, but they're just not, they're not coming in right. You can see these. Uh, no, it's not squash, it's, uh, I can never remember the, uh, Ampalaya or whatever it's called. I know that's probably wrong. You cook it with eggs. It's mussing up with eggs. But, uh, anyway, this is what we've got now going. Some nice plants. I just watered the whole garden. I'm not exactly sure what this, what this is. Nobody in the, in the family seems to know what this is. But it's got some nice flowers on it. Huh? Melanie took the time to pot all these beautiful flowers from Japan that Mama gave her. We've just got some wandering. I'm not sure what those are either. I think they're turnips or something. Ooh, we've got some fruit coming on this guy. Yeah, buddy. This thing grew from nothing. In about 90 days, look at that. This one too. It's a full tree. Only about 90 days it took. But we've got these beautiful flowers that Melanie's got. Melanie's replanted all these in pots along the walkway. You can see all the way back up. The yard's not perfect, guys. We've still got a lot of work to do, as you can see. I still want to rake all of this down and get rid of all this rock. Uh, we've got carrots going over here. The carrots look great. They're doing really well. And we've got scallions over here on this side, which grow quite a bit slower. Still looking good. And we've got something here that hasn't even broke through the ground yet. I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, little backyard update. Imperador wall, still looking good. But yeah, I've got so much more work to do here. I've got, I have to dispose of all this rock here, rake all of this down, you know. And then we'll get a shit ton of topsoil and we'll mix all the topsoil in with this dirt just to make it, you know, a little more fertile. We've got a ton of bananas going up there. Can you see those bananas? <laughs> there you go. It's a nice batch. We might snake those. <laughs> yeah, the neighbors got way too many of those. And what happens is they damage the wall. So, anyway, I'm uh, doing a little maintenance on the motor here. We've got. Uh, Got my bucket of soap ready to rock and roll here. Yeah. Do a nice little motorcycle wash. And uh, I'm also, I'm also going to install this new horn. And we're gonna vlog that. This thing sounds great. So much nicer than the wimpy little horn that the, the Raider has on it. And uh, we'll have a look at that a little bit later, but Let's wash the motor.
Okay, now just, uh, just for reference sake, here's the horn that I'm gonna replace, that little guy. And just for reference sake, this is what it sounds like. Oh. <laughs> kind of wimpy, right? Uh, effective, but wimpy. <laughs> so, uh, let me put the new one on and I'll give you a, a listen at the new horn. Okay, a little bit of a failure here on the horn install. Um, I'll show you guys what happened. You can see the size. This is an actually very small stock horn from Suzuki. This is what I was trying to replace it with, okay. So what, what I've got going on here is the wires. The wire connections here just aren't long enough to accommodate this, this large horn. Uh, I can mount this horn okay on the bracket. But what happens is the wires aren't long enough to reach this. Um, so, uh, what I'm going to have to do is do a little bit of, I'm going to have to go get some electrical wire, okay, and splice into this and extend it to make it a little bit longer and put these connectors back on or buy some connectors like this to put on. So it's going to be a little more of a custom install. Not going to be able to do it now. Uh, it does sound awesome. Um, hold on, let me hook it up so you guys can hear the difference in the horn. Okay, and here is the sound of the new horn. Big difference. Very nice. Too bad I can't uh, fit it in there right now. Anyway, just so you could get a chance to hear what the new, the whole new horn sounds like. Much nicer in traffic. Alright, and the final step on cleaning the motor is this. This is... Uh, kind of like the equivalent of Armor All in the USA, but everybody uses this on their motor. Uh, VS1 Protector cleans and shines, removes stains, restores color for rubber, plastic, vinyl, and leather. VS1. They pay me nothing. Just sharing. And uh, you spray it on and wipe it off. So that's it. And I'll show you the final product when I'm done. All right, and there is the final product. That VS1 really makes all of the plastic glow, you know. Again, it's like a, it's like an armor all equivalent. And it also gives the bike a little water repellency, you know. Very nice. Okay. Hi, Mama. <laughs> I need help. You need help with what? Handbrake. Your handbrake? Okay, Lung. That should wrap up this one. More later, guys. Thanks for watching.